in the soul, in the subconscious? Uh, yes, certainly. There is no subconscious. <laughs> exactly. What people are calling the subconscious is in reality the soul that they're not knowing how to connect with. Their own feelings and emotions and passions and desires and intentions that feel so distant to them that it feels like it's their subconscious leaving them along. So in, the, in regard to that previous example I was giving with the lady who was getting abused, she's saying to herself, oh, there must be something going on subconsciously because whatever it is, I don't know. Is that, you can see that? She'd be saying that to herself here, wouldn't she? I'm not conscious of what's causing this attraction, so it must be subconscious. But in reality, it's the denial of an emotion that actually the law of attraction is already telling her about. It's already identified to her what is the problem. She just has not wanted yet to feel that feeling. It's pretty hard to feel the feelings of unworthiness, isn't it? So if you don't want to feel them, particularly if they're, you know, they're very, very deep and within you from a very young age, of course you're going to want to deny them. And as soon as you set up an aspect of denial, what you are now doing is you are denying also the law of attraction telling you what is going on within your own soul. Alright, so if you do identify that denial, mm -hmm. how do you get rid of that? Well, the there's only one way to get rid of any emotion. What do you reckon that might be? Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Allow yourself to feel it and cry. <laughs> well, whatever it is, if it's uh, whatever the emotion is, it might be anger. So what do you do then? Punch a bag. <laughs> no, it might be feeling of shame. What do you do then? Okay. Feel the shame of yourself. Just, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Like every feeling needs to be experienced. The reason why you lock up an emotion, the reason why there are lots and lots of emotions in this soul of error, is because when we're very young, we're not taught to experience our emotions. You think about what you were taught when you were young. Weren't you taught to deny your emotion? Weren't you taught to shut up? Weren't you taught to be quiet when you were crying? Weren't you taught, like, how many different messages do we get when we're young? By the time we're five, we haven't got a hope to feel our emotions, really, have we? because we've had so many lessons of denial of our emotions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't cry, get distracted. All sorts of things happen, don't they? Like how many times uh, does our child come and we sit them on our lap and they're crying and what do we say? Shh, shh, what are we saying? Even shh, 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 what else do we say when they say it's a little toddler? What do we say then? Oh, look at that train going past. Look at that train. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? What are we teaching? To be distracted from to themselves use, emotionally. To use denial is what we're teaching. Yeah. yeah. What else do we say to them? It's not okay to cry. No. You've got to be a strong boy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a strong girl. Or a big girl. If you stop cry. crying, I'll give you this. Exactly. <laughs> bribery. Bribery. <laughs> These are all the things we finish up doing with ourselves to get ourselves away from our emotions. Can you see the pattern? 